pushing off my sneakers to the ground I do not jump, I move the earth down Bear witness to the genius of my sound Bored at the bottom, but now I'm top down Look, I'm a call it swagger I slip through time zones like a cooking dagger Man, rubies on my chain You can see your name, bubble in blood Bang your girls in my head because she's sipping on my champagne That's right, six figures in my back pocket And that's right, one million in my safe deposit That's right, I'm trill all day What's happening everybody? Dustin here with Life in a Mustang bringing you another vlog. Anyways, my car is not running right. I gotta figure out what's going on. Install the headers, the X pipe. Now I'm throwing some engine codes, like five or six of them. Called up Bama and they said, shoot me out a data log, we'll see what's going on and we'll try to fix your problem. So that's what I'm doing right here. As you can see right here, the car is running and we are doing the idle test, cold to warm up, 10 minutes, let the car idle, go slap that into the PC, save that file, to come do the step test, which is next, and then we're going to do all that again. We're going to send it off to Bama and hopefully they can fix these problems. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here is the idle test. Okay, so I've begun the first step of data logging for Bama. What it is, it's gonna be a cold start to, you know, pretty much a warm up, 10 minutes of sitting here idling. And that's the first test. As you can see, the record button is on. Those are my parameters. Car is running. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I got a few engine lights. I put headers and an X pipe on, the car's not running right. I wanna make sure my air fuel ratio and everything is okay before I get on it and do a wide open throttle test. So we're still waiting on the 10 minute idle test. You just sit here, you let it do it, you can get out of the car, do whatever you want. So let it idle for 10 minutes, it's gonna come up to operating temperature and then you just shut it down. Now I'm doing this without a laptop. So what I'm gonna do after this is I'm gonna stop recording, unplug the device, take it inside to the desktop and I'm gonna load this data log into the desktop. You can do it with a laptop. It's probably more ideal to do it with a laptop. I'm not taking it straight into the desktop and that's how I'm doing it. Okay, what we're gonna do here is go to, I want to open a data log file. I want a data log. I want to import a data log. So that's what we're gonna do. I want to import a data log from a device. Plug in the USB cable, make sure it's connected. All right, so we're gonna go down here to next because it's plugged in. That's it, check communication. Checking, checking. There it is, now we're gonna go to import file. It's gonna import the data log. Right there is the data log. That's it, that's the idle test. As you can see, it's jumping all around and then it gets into the idle test. All of that right there is the idle test. Then we're gonna go to save. All right, so here's my data log. All I did is I go right here, save. I saved my data log and the view. I um, opened up that file. I went over and I saved them to one of my hard drives. <clears throat> and I put them in the email for Bama and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna do the step test now. I'm gonna add those files to the email and then send it off to Bama and they're gonna write me a new tune. Okay, I'm on my way now to get out on a main road. It's still a back country road, so I got plenty of space. Uh, barely any traffic to deal with when doing this data log so as you can see i'm going down my road i'm getting out of this dirt because i just i could do it on the dirt road but i'm not going to i'm gonna get on a flat even surface no bumps or jars i don't want there to be any question on how this data log goes and here in a second we're gonna start we're gonna start with 1500 at 30 seconds 2000 2500 3,000, 3,500, and 4,000. That's what they're telling me to do. That's what I'm gonna do. So, let's get started. First test, 1,500 for 30 seconds. 
which is not as easy as you would think it would be. Now we're going to go to 2,000 for 30 seconds. Now 2,500. store do a little u-turn good old country feed store boys let's get us some crack corn no i'm just kidding all right so this is actually a feed store down the street from my house i actually live next door to a feed store they own the whole neighborhood it's pretty crazy all right so now i've came to a complete stop the car is idling here for a second i'm gonna end the data log and that's it that's the step test it's all done we did it it's over i found it best with the uh, my car used an automatic i found it best just to do the whole step test in second gear let me roll up these windows all right so i did the whole test in second gear i tried it in first at first it didn't really work all that well so i've got the data log i'm gonna go put it on the screen just like i showed you with that other video and then i'm gonna wait and they're gonna tell me whether i did it right or not they're gonna and if i did they're gonna send me a new tune the car should run a lot better hopefully get rid of these engine codes now when you have engine codes you need to tell them in the email which codes that you have that is that's what they need to know they need to see your data log file first test idle test second test step test and your third test will be a wide open throttle test which you should not do until they email you back with a new tune and they clear you to do so you don't want to detonate your engine right here is my step test as you can see you can see the different spikes and fuel and everything else so same thing applies before we go over here to this corner file we want to save we want to i'm going to save my data log and the data view right here data log two save file data log view data log view two save all right that's it now i'm going to take those files put them in an email and i'm going to send them off to Bama I'm gonna get a new tune and then they're gonna require me to do a wide open throttle test and we'll go from there so I thank you for watching this is life in a Mustang I'm Dustin and I'll catch y'all later peace